am disappointed that we have intelligent, very intelligent people in the community who are not looking at why the drivers are continually being released, uh, or rather, uh, you know, forced back on the traveling public of Barbados. Uh, why is it that we keep the insurance companies keep insisting that we take drivers from the pool that they offered us? Because if you take a driver, they have to agree. So when they agree, they're saying this driver is fit and proper to drive a vehicle. And they are the same drivers that we are complaining about, including them. So something seems not right to me. And to say that we must be burdened with this high, with this high taxation on our buses, to me, I think that that is totally disrespectful for how they know the, they know the situation regarding our income. The, we, have, we have to pay national insurance. We have to pay income tax. And we have to, when we do, when our buses is off, when our buses are off the road, we have to prove to national insurance that it was off the road. We can't even say it was off the road because national insurance must have their cut. So everybody's getting what they want, if you look at it. Government getting all the taxes, making you pay for all the licenses, they're paying Friday is usually um, public service vehicles day in court, and we're paying all the thousands of dollars, and nobody's sitting with us. We don't have good terminals. When the rain falls, we are pushed out on the road from inside our terminal at River Road. And what can we say that we have had so far from any government?